what I want you to do is just, I want you to enjoy the experience, but we're not going to enjoy it if you're not going to the hard as you can, okay, to the best of your ability. Okay? Play together, play with each other. You have nothing to lose, which makes you a more dangerous team. Okay? So you go out there and you fight, you take things away, and let's see what happens. Okay? Let's see what happens one possession at a time. Okay? Going into this season, we knew we were going to face some shortages of bodies with the injuries we sustained at the end of last year, but we felt like we had recruited um, some really good pieces, brought in some, some transfer kids to address some of our rebounding issues, brought in a really talented freshman point guard, and really got off to a, a great start. Non-conference season, we had some good wins. We were very competitive against Stanford at the Chase Center. advantage that CSUN's going to have, but Williams a good job to work around and Michaela Williams has nine points. She's four of six from the field. Now Cremeli with the three. There it is. And Rathbun gets the scoring going for San Francisco. Oliverda to Rathbun. V Hill and the score. Balligan baseline off the glass and in. Williams 18 footer buries it. Hoskova into the paint. Kicks corner. Rathbun three up and in. And that will do it for the ball game. The Dons get the split here in Seattle. And they finish non-conference play on a winning note. Ended up finishing, I think, seven and four in our non-conference, and then sustained a couple more injuries. You know, our, our really good freshman guard, Iwana, gets uh, has a foot injury. Then we go into conference play with a completely different group. You know, we've lost our starting point guard, our leading scorer. We've really only got maybe six, seven people in a rotation right now. Both teams are kind of uh, thin on their rosters. A lot of injuries and maybe illnesses for both squads. V Hill. For the score. We really struggled to find our footing again that the first you know month or so of conference play. You know, we're 0 and 9 in the first first part of conference, but really the best part about these kids is they stayed engaged through that whole process. It was it was us and them learning all over again how we were gonna be competitive, who's gonna play point guard for us, how are we gonna get the ball up the floor, how, what offense can we run, what can we do to put these guys in positions where they're gonna be successful, because those are different things than we were doing. Uh, before the Christmas break. So really started to get a feel for ourselves, I think, as a unit um, after our first kind of San Diego game. You know, that was the last game of, of the first round of conference play and started to feel like, hey, you know, we're starting to figure it out. We're really competitive in these games and uh, people are starting to feel a little bit more confident in their roles and how they're playing. And then, you know, that second half of conference play, I thought this team really took off. Uh, we finished with a 5-4 and four record and felt like we were competitive in, in every single game we played and uh, felt like we had an opportunity to not only compete with teams but beat all those teams. So, you know, just the growth, they had a tremendous amount of growth, just personal growth and, and growth as a team um, throughout the course of the season. We had some really good momentum going into the conference tournament. The problem is we just didn't have enough energy. You know, just playing with that with only six bodies really for that whole second round uh, of conference play. You know, they, you know, their heart was there and their mind was there, but you know, we just didn't have enough. You know, probably energy uh, system-wise to get over the hump and and beat a really a good Santa Clara team. It was a very competitive game. We took them to overtime and. I'm uh, just really proud of these kids and how they competed through the whole season. I think the support we've had from our core group of, of season ticket holders and our, you know, our fan base has been tremendous. You know, they travel with us oftentimes. They are always on Facebook, always on Twitter, always supporting, um, always you know, trying to build a real connection with the kids and through our wins and our losses. And that's the best part about their loyalty is that you know, they they see beyond, um, you know, the, the W's and the L's, and they see the effort and the, um, the drive and the fight and the commitment and the passion that these girls have. And I think that's, um, that's just as important, if not more important, than, than the W's and the L's um, at the end of the day, is the process that these guys have taken and how they've embraced that process of getting better. And I really feel like pieces are coming together. I'm very confident in the kids who are coming back. I'm excited about the kids getting healthy, and I feel like we can do a good job augmenting all that with some good recruiting pieces, and we're really looking forward to next year.